Greetings friends, it's the Earthen Avenger. So you want to paint Skylanders, but where do you start? In today's video, we're going to show you the tools necessary to get started painting Skylanders. All of the materials I'm going to share with you today could be found at Walmart, Target, or a local hobby store such as Michael's or Hobby Lobby. If you're outside of the United States, you can try checking on Amazon. Now the first thing on our list we're going to discuss is paintbrushes. Now when you're just starting out, you don't need a Master Series Winsor Newton. Anything will do. Synthetic or natural, it really doesn't matter. So you could just go to Walmart and check out the arts and crafts section and grab yourself a nice package of cheap brushes. What you're looking for is a variety of tips. You want really thin ones for detail and a little bit thicker so you can, uh, you know, do a lot of your work, your base coating and stuff like that. And a nice flat tipped one for dry brushing. Now that you have your brushes, you're going to need some paint. Now what you're going to be looking for is water-based acrylics. You could find a great variety of these at all the places I mentioned earlier. If you're new to painting, Walmart carries a great brand of water-based acrylic paints called Apple Barrel. They're very inexpensive, but not the greatest quality, but I suggest them as a good jumping in point for anybody new to get used to painting and messing around with stuff like that. Now, if you already are used to paints and you want to jump into the good stuff right away, I suggest miniature paints. These are the paints that painters use for miniatures like Warhammer and stuff like that. So you could look at Citadel brand, Army Painter, P3, and my personal favorite and what I suggest is Vallejo. Now, Vallejo paints makes two different brands. They have the Vallejo model color, which is used to paint models. Um, and if you can get that, great. But if not, I definitely suggest the Vallejo Game Color. Now, this is specifically made for miniatures that are going to be getting handled a lot. Um, it has a specific resin mixed into the paint uh, that hardens and creates a very thick shell, kind of. So when you're handling it and touching it and stuff like that, the oils on your, on your skin don't damage the paint job. So definitely the ones I use, Vallejo Game Color. Next up, we're going to be talking about palettes. It's important to have somewhere to store and mix your paints while you're working, and the palette is an essential tool. So first we're going to be taking a look at the plastic well palette. This has little indentations where you can keep very wet fluid mixes of paint uh, while you're working. And even more important, I would say, is the Masterson Stay Wet wet palette. A wet palette is a great tool for keeping your paints wet and moist while you're working. This enables very smooth, creamy blends. Now, if you don't buy the uh, Masterson Stay Wet, I'm going to teach you guys how to make one uh, in a later video using a paper towel and a Tupperware. So stay tuned for that. Then I'd like to address some odds and ends, just some little different things that you could use that are going to improve the quality of life of your painting experience. Firstly, paper towels. It's important to have paper towels around to wipe off your brush and clean up messes. Uh, then we're going to look at painter's tape. This is going to be important for masking off the base of your figure as well as other certain elements. I also suggest um, for maybe a little bit more advanced uh, painters, a X-Acto knife so you can clean up some of those mold lines that you'll see on some figures. We'll get more into that in a, in, in a later video. Uh, and then of course, no painting table is complete without a stylish mug to keep your paint water to continually rinse your brushes in between painting. And then of course you need Skylanders. I would suggest using some duplicates that maybe you don't care as much about before moving on to figures that you only have one of. Um, a great way to start painting Skylanders would be to uh, reach out to SCL Matt of the SCL shop, the Skylanders character list.com. Um, or jump onto his auctions where you can get some damaged Skylanders to practice on very cheap. Um, so you'll be able to follow along at home and have something to work on uh, in your hand as well. So definitely do that. And that's going to be it for me, guys. Please join me next week where I'm going to teach you how to lay down a great foundational base coat on your Skylander. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Go check out SEL Matt over at the SEL shop. And we're going to have a great um, auction on Saturday. So go check that out as well. You'll see some of my work in there. So all right, guys, have a great one. Peace.